Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update, and uh, lots of stuff happened in the world of LEGO Star Wars. Also, a uh, rebrickable contest has been announced, and the trailer for the new Marvel Super Heroes 2 video game is out. Anyways, we're going to get into everything and more, but first, let's talk about the Amazon deals that are new for this week. All right, and this is just the example video from a previous news episode, and down below is also an example list of a bunch of sets that are on sale at Amazon right now. These sets appearing in front of you right now are the current ones that were added this week, but if you check the description below, there's just a massive list of a ton of different Amazon sets, and I encourage you guys to go check those out. Let's get back into the news. All right, now let's talk about the Lego sets that are coming for The Last Jedi. And also, just an FYI, I am going to be talking about all the characters and the vehicles and stuff, so if you consider any of that spoilers, um, well, spoilers ahead. At this moment, I know exactly what three of the sets are going to be, the bigger ones, and I got the information just from a post on Reddit. The images are there, or at least they were when I made this episode. They usually get taken down pretty quickly by Lego Group, and I'm not going to be showing them on this episode because there's a pretty darn good chance that we'll probably get flagged for an image embargo. Anyways, we do know what they're going to be, and they're really awesome. The first one is a resistance bomber. That is this ship from the trailer. It looks a lot like sort of the updated Nebulon B. It looks pretty big in size. I would say maybe about a thousand pieces. I don't know. I'm just guesstimating. And the minifigs included are going to be a resistance bomber pilot, a resistance bombardier, also somebody called a resistance gunner page. They all kind of look like standard orange suit guys. The detailing on the chests are a bit updated, and they each come with a unique helmet I'm pretty darn sure are going to be exclusive just to those characters. Then the main people that are going to be actual characters within the movie are going to be Vice Admiral Holando. That is this woman right here from uh, some brand new uh, pictures that were released. Pretty good chance that she is going to be commanding this particular ship. And then also Poe Dameron is in there and he's also wearing a orange flight suit as well or something that looks pretty darn similar to it. This is set number 75188 which means it is going to be marked at 110 euro. Next set is set number 75189, which is marked at 140 euro. And I am more than pleased to say that it is the first order AT-80, but actually they're not calling it the AT-80. It is the first order heavy assault walker. Information about this vehicle has been circulating for a while now, and it has been dubbed the Gorilla AT-80 or the Gorilla Walker. And that is because the front section, the front two legs of this walker are considerably bigger than the back two legs. The main body is uh, sort of a similar shape shape even though the back kind of slopes downward a little bit more than maybe your standard ATAT -AT shell. But really the main design difference we're looking at is there's a lot of extra armor in the front, especially by the lower parts of the legs. There's some extra support beams sort of sticking out of the back of the front feet and even sort of like the shoulders or where the joints of the front legs are attached. The joint itself is bigger and there's some extra armor around there as well as the shape of the head has changed. It looks pretty darn similar to the same sort of build style uh, that we got from the previous AT set but let's check out the minifigs that are included uh, there is a resistance trooper different printing for the body that we got for the last time this guy showed up but I think the helmet is the same there is a first order stormtrooper and I think one of the cooler looking characters is the first order walker driver just a single one of those guys but he has this awesome streak that is going down his helmet I think a lot of people are really gonna like the way that guy looks the set also comes with Ray she's got her robes that look like the same kind of robes we saw from the trailer I think that is a new hair piece for her hair looks like a little bit more loose. And then Captain Poe Dameron. This time his name says Captain Poe Dameron, unlike in the other set. He wears a, a brown jacket and some brown pants, but I'm just mostly excited that we get Ray because it's Ray with a lightsaber in an AT-AT, or sorry, heavy assault walker battle. So who knows what she's going to be doing, but I have a feeling this battle scene is going to be the most epic thing ever. Okay, sorry. I've uh, officially boarded the hype train. Now the last set that was revealed is set number 75190. This is the largest for this first line of sets that's coming out for The Last Jedi. It's going to be 150 euro, and that is the First Order Star Destroyer. The build style for this set is uh, extremely similar to the last Star Destroyer that we got in LEGO. You can tell by the way uh, that it is built that the panels fold out and the center build piece is probably something that you can just take out. In fact, I still think that there is that little hook piece that is like right in the middle, so you can hold this thing up from the center, either hanging it or just allowing you to sort 
sort of swoosh the whole thing around. In general, I think the external detailing looks pretty good. There's, um, you know, a variety of different types of tile pieces and some great pieces, and it varies between uh, dark gray and light bluish gray, mostly light bluish gray. But I gotta say, they moved away from the poseable turrets like we had in the last Star Destroyer, and they replaced them with stud guns. Four stud guns on either side. I don't think it looks that good. That is probably gonna be a modification that I think I'm already planning on taking once I get this set. And I hope my description is maybe helping some of you guys paint a picture in your head. And now the minifigures uh, that are for this set are the First Order Officer. Looks pretty darn similar to maybe a previous one we've gotten. Another First Order Shuttle Pilot I don't think is exclusive. Inside, I suppose there's just gonna be regular First Order Stormtroopers because we get one of those guys and we also get a First Order Stormtrooper uh, Sergeant. He basically comes with a shoulder pauldron. It looks like it's just a white soldier pauldron. And then the big reveal for the minifigs in this set are gonna be Supreme Leader Snoke and an evil looking BB-8 unit. The Supreme Leader is in kind of uh, this nougaty robe, kind of like a light brown. And the BB unit is called BB-9E. And he's mostly all black with what looks like silver highlights, though the picture I'm looking at right now is not the greatest. Now in the video description below, I have left a link to the least where I found the pictures. No promises on whether or not those things are still gonna be there. But in other LEGO news, there are actual pictures of new things from LEGO Star Wars that have been revealed. LEGO themselves have released a image of what old Luke the minifigure is going to look like. He's pretty much in the same robe getup that we saw from the uh, new teaser trailer, and he's nothing short of what I imagined or would have expected. He looks pretty cool. I can't wait to get him in real form. And also the second edition of what is this little uh, Star Wars little minifigure collectible stands uh, have been revealed. This is a new Scarif Trooper. The image was first revealed on Delta Customs, and as far as I can tell, the exclusivity of this guy is that he comes with possibly different printed legs, but I believe that is a black camera around his waist. It's no groundbreaking type of minifigure, no new character, but decent enough to be an exclusive little guy. And also this week, uh, the Marvel Super Heroes 2 video game has a trailer that was released, along with a rumor about an upcoming, possibly exclusive minifigure that's going to be coming with the game, or a pre-order of the game, something like that. We don't know what the minifig is going to be, or if one for this uh, game indeed exists, but that is what has been circulating around at least. Official LEGO fidget spinner building instructions surfaced. I know this channel and just about every single LEGO channel and <laughs> YouTube channel for that matter has done something about fidget spinners anyways. LEGO official has jumped on the bandwagon if you want to see how they built their own. Links in the description below, just like links for everything I'm talking about. I also just became aware of uh, the bricks on the dollar site that does these A full poster subscription services. Once a month, there is a uh, awesome sort of original artwork made based on a previous Lego theme. The artwork itself is kind of cool. And uh, anyways, I'll just leave a link for it. I'm not officially promoting it or anything like that, but uh, something I discovered, not necessarily something that happened this week per se, but just something that I thought you guys might be interested in. Also this week, early access, VIP early access is uh, available for the creator carousel. And as far as I know, at least some of the Walmarts are now holding on to the Saturn V ideas set. <clears throat> we weren't able to find one in our area, but I'm sure it's coming soon. And then now let's jump into LEGO Ideas. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it's a website. You submit a creation to it, and if enough people vote on it, as in 10,000 people support it, it then gets sent to LEGO for the review stage and uh, possibly gets turned into a real LEGO set. This week, a new Ideas set was accepted with 10,000 supporters, and that is the Gilmore Girls Luke's Diner. This set received supporters pretty quickly as far as I can remember, and though I'm not really familiar with the television show, the build itself is pretty awesome. You can think of this as being a similar sort of uh, ideas set like uh, the Big Bang Theory. It is a corner vignette with all the main characters uh, as minifigures within the interior here, but I just think this uh, space that has been built out is uh, very, very complete. Lots of fun details to notice, and it's one of the better LEGO diner interiors that I've seen. Congratulations to the builder Rainer Zufall, who received the 10,000 supporters, and good luck in the review stage. All right, that's it for this episode, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, remember to tune in same time next week for another LEGO Weekly News update. And if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Tomorrow is Sunday Mocks. That's the top 10 Mocks of the Week episode that uh, Mike is doing for tomorrow. And um, all right, that's it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Bowl. Thank you.